What up, what up? LBS Nuts, some big news out of the NBA. The Cleveland Cavaliers decided to fire David Blatt as their head coach. A lot of people saying it wasn't fair. I think it was. I'm going to tell you why. Number one, the Cavaliers are playing for championships. Just being first in the Eastern Conference and reaching the NBA Finals is not good enough. That's the expectation when you have LeBron James on your team. You got to win championships with him. And in order to win a title in today's NBA, you have to be able to beat the Golden State Warriors. The Cavaliers were looking like they could not do that. I understand last year in the finals they were banged up, so we might not count that. But this year, things were looking even worse. Lost to them on Christmas and then got spanked by them at home on MLK Junior Day. So things were not looking good. They felt like they had to make a change in order to win a championship or have a better shot at one. I agree with that decision. Number two, some reports out there are saying LeBron James was not consulted about the decision to fire David Blatt. Who actually believes that? Okay, maybe they didn't say, hey, LeBron, we're going to fire Blatt today. Is that cool with you? Maybe they didn't do that. But it's not like they didn't take his impressions. It's not like they didn't ask for his input. It's not like they didn't take stock with LeBron and say, what do you think of Blatt? Look, LeBron James, plain and simple, has not respected Blatt since their first year together. Since last season, there were reports saying that LeBron freelanced on his own, overrode his coach when it came to play calls. So LeBron needed someone he could completely respect. That wasn't the case here with Blatt. Number three, they get Tyron Liu in there. Reports say LeBron wanted a guy who played in the NBA, a former player, as his coach. Someone he would respect who had been through it. He gets that with Tyron Liu. And you know what's funny about this? Most of the time when a coach gets fired, it's just an interim coach who takes over. Tyron Liu is getting a three-year deal. What does that tell you? A lot of this was going on behind the scenes. It was in the works. It was in the process. A lot of stuff going on, a lot of shadiness behind the scenes was being worked out while Blatt was still coaching this team. That's what we know. And lastly, I think sometimes you just have to make a change. Let's look at number four. With the Miami Heat, remember that example? Shaq was not getting along with Stan Van Gundy. Went to Pat Riley, went to the front office, said, we need to make a change. Riley came down, replaced Stan Van Gundy. They went on to win a championship. Now, Van Gundy is a very good coach. Took Orlando to the finals. He has turned around Detroit. But sometimes changes need to be made. I think this is a case where one definitely had to be made. I don't know if they're going to win a championship under Tyron Lue, but I know they weren't under David Blatt.